Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender modeling tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create basic geometry shapes inside of your faces on your mesh in Blender. So let's get straight into it. So first thing I'm going to do is press Shift and then A on the keyboard, select cube, and now I'll press Tab to enter edit mode, preview on the keyboard to enter face select mode, and I'll just select one of my faces. Now to start with we're going to create a basic square so this will be the easiest one. So I'll press I to inset and that will create a square within my face. Then all I can do if I want to make it more 3D I can extrude it out like this or inward and yeah so super simple that's how you make a square. Next up we have the diamond so what I'm going to do first is right click and click subdivide with that face selected and I'll press I to inset so I get a rough idea how big I want my diamond to be. So about that should do. Then I'll press 1 on the keyboard and this will enter vertices select mode. Then I'll select the opposite corners on each of these squares and then just press J to join the vertices together. And I'll do the same for all of these until I get a nice diamond shape. Now I'll press 3 again on the keyboard and I'll select my diamond shape and now I can press E to bring it out or I can bring it inward like this. I'll move that along pressing G and Y in object mode and I'll press Shift A and I'll create a new cube. Press Tab, enter edit mode. I'll press free on the keyboard to get a face like mode and just select this face here. Now we're going to be making a triangle. So this time I'm going to right click, subdivide, I to inset and I'll get a rough idea how big I want my triangle to be. That should do nicely. Now I'm going to select my top vertice and then select my bottom corner one here. Then I'll just press J and as you can see it's created a vertice through this line as well which is really good about using J instead of F to create this line here. So I'll do the same on the other side. Select these two vertices and just press J. And now all I need to do is select all my faces by holding down shift left click and I can press E to bring it out. I'll do, do it outward for this one but you can bring it inward as well. There's our triangle. Press G and Y to move it along. Next up we have the circle and for this one we're going to need a special add-on called the loop tools add-on. So I'll just left click edit here, come down to preferences, left click on add-on and just search loop and it should come up here. Make sure this box is checked and then you can click these three lines here, left click save preferences. You can also turn on this auto save preferences if it isn't already. That could be very useful for automatically saving them. And now I'm going to press shift A and I'll select the cube again, tab, edit mode, on the keyboard to go into face like mode and I'll select my front face here. Now I'm going to do the same thing again and subdivide, press I and get a rough idea how big I want my circle. Now I've been set it, I'm going to right click and then under this new loop tools menu I'll left click circle and I'll maybe scale it down a little bit and I'll press I to inset like that. Now what I can do is press E and then bring it back or I can bring it forward if you want and for some of you you might want to leave it like this but I want to make it a nice smooth circle so I'm going to press tab and enter object mode and I'm going to come up to my modifier properties here add modifier and I'll select subdivision surface now at first it will look something like this but all we need to do is press tab enter edit mode I'll press A I'm going to need to select most of these edges turn on my x-ray and I'll go into edge select mode and I'll press control and then drag with my box select if a box isn't appearing come down to your toolbar pressing T and make sure this dotted yellow box is on. If you want to change it, you can change it here. So I'll just change it to select box by holding down left click and selecting it. Then I'm just going to deselect these individual edges here. Now I'm going to come back to item on my toolbar here. If you don't see it, just press N on the keyboard. And I'll change my mean crease here to 1. Press tab, enter object mode. I need to change a few things here. The first thing I'm going to do is in my subdivision, I'll change the levels viewport to match the render at 2. Tab back into edit mode. Now see what the mistake is. I just need to get rid of the mean crease on these edges here. So I'll just select them individually. I'll turn off my x-ray so I don't select through the mesh. I'll just select each of these individual edges here. Now I have them all selected under my transform menu. I'll change my mean crease to zero. Now when I press tab back into object mode, you can see we have a nice circle inside of our mesh. Press right click and shade smooth, then come down to auto smooth, scroll down and turn on auto smooth. And now that looks like a nice circle. And yeah, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you again to Jono Bond for suggesting this tutorial. I'll be making a part two where I go over more complex shapes such as logos and whatnot. There's quite a lot more to it, so it's needed for a separate tutorial, and that will be coming out later today. So thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I make more videos in the future. Thank you again and I'll see you all in the next video.